Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions. How are you doing? I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on a multi-clip using Final Cut Studio. All right, so we'll just get straight into it. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of background about this video. This is also a kind of behind the scenes of uh, Ramzo16. Uh, he and I did a collaboration video. He's a musician in Toronto and I'm a filmmaker. So we got together and I shot him a video and we put it up on his site. So at the end of this video, I'll put a link or down below, I'll put a link also uh, to his uh, channel and you can check out the final version of this. Uh, so we'll get right into it. So when we were on location, we shot uh, Ramzo singing the same version of the song five times. So here are our video clips. And this is uh, Ramzo singing uh, on the bridge. So we have that one. We have a close-up of him on the bridge. We have him in the car. We have him um, in front of this bridge and a close-up of him in front of this bridge. So here are our five clips. So what I do is I click on each one. We go into this um, tab and we zoom in, hit the Z key, zoom into the very beginning of the song. And we have to find something uh, that's similar to all of them. And the C, when he first starts. So when he, when he says, I'm coming home, uh, when he says the C, you can hear that. So when we hit this, when we find that spot, we hit an in point, and that's our in point. And we go to the next one, do the same thing. And there's the C sound. Uh, we hit I for in. Go to the next one. Go to the audio or the audio section. There's the C sound. As you can tell, there's an airplane flying by in that one. And there's our end point. So there's a clip five, four, three, two, and one. So what we do now is we highlight all five clips. We hold down the control key and we click on any one of the clips and we say make multi-clip. And we get this little window here. So we want to go with the in points. You could have done out points or time code. And of course I shot them all at different times so that wasn't gonna help me at all. Um, but the in points is what we just did. And we say okay. Now it makes a multi-clip and we can just drag that into here. So all five clips are now one audio and video clip. So in the viewer we have several choices. We can have one up, which will just show us one video. We can have four up. But of course, we have five cameras, so we need to go to the next one up, which is nine. But we can go all the way up to 16. If I shot 16 uh, sh uh, different <clears throat> angles of him singing the same song, we could have 16 video clips all at the same time. So we're gonna do nine up, so I can see the five clips that we have. And as I scroll through it, they all sing at the same time. Here's another quick tip. I shot this with the Canon 5D. I shot it at 24p uh, 1080. So I shot it at the highest resolution the camera can shoot it at, but this computer couldn't handle playing five HD clips at the same time. So I made them all 720. Uh, so so and as soon as I changed them to 720, I just brought them into a timeline each, exported them out as a smaller version, and everything runs fine. So here's uh, what we have to do. So again, make sure this isn't open. So if you notice, there are two different color boxes around the first clip. Uh, I could move that around by clicking on these different angles. If I just wanted video, I can move the video around and the audio will stay there. And that's what I want to do. So I want to be able to move the video, but I just want the audio from just this video clip. Uh, I don't want to change the audio back and forth, back and forth between five different clips. I just want to keep this audio from here and the video I'm going to be switching back and forth. So let's get to it. Again, we're going to start by clicking on the timeline. I'll hit the space bar, which will start to play, and I'll click on the different angles I want to see while it's playing it in real time. Coming home, 
And now when I hit the space bar again, you'll see down here now in the timeline, there are now cuts. As I was doing it, as I clicked on each one, uh, it's put a blue marker uh, on there. So uh, it was showing you where the markers were going to cut. And now that I've stopped, it's now... But if I didn't like this clip, I can just double click it, go up to here. I want the, this back one, uh, this one when he's on the bridge and it will swap it out for me. So now I'll go from here to bridge to this one. And if I didn't like this one, I could click on that one. Sorry, double click on it, brings up this window and I switch it back to that. So now it goes from here to the long shot of the bridge. And that is exactly how I did this video. And here's the final version of it. Somebody loves me, I got mail. Anyway, so I did lots of cutaways uh, before uh, Ramzo got there and put them in. And I've got something from Facebook. I'll get that later. Facebook people. That's all there is to multi-clip editing. Uh, let me show you the final version. This is the final version without any color correcting, correcting or anything. I did that in uh, After Effects. So um, let me just show you the beginning. I locked out and got a fire truck zipping down the street. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday. So there you go. And I just went through and uh, I needed some cutaways. Here's some more cutaways. Had a lot of fun putting this together. And uh, at the end, we just have his little uh, extra. So there you go. That's how you do multi-clip editing. And again, um, if you like this video and you want to see more tutorials on editing, uh, just click the subscribe button right here. Uh, if you'd like to go and see the final version of Ramzo's video, click right over here. And if you want to see some other videos, I might put some over here. You know, whatever. Anyway, so there's uh, multi-clip editing for you. Talk to you later. Bye. I'm going to be doing a... Um, a tutorial on something, I swear.